Okay guys, <clears throat> here's a little video of mine with everything on. Coming out here doing the first ground check. Right now, all the lights are on because I had the gear down. The uh, 7 formation lights and the IFF recognition lights are on on the bottom. And also, the landing lights are on. As you'll see right there with the top strobe and the strobe on the uh, rudders. Also the wing lights which are actually visible top and bottom both red and green. And the 360 degree turret that's mixed with the, the nose. That's where I've got it set to not spin. Make you dizzy wouldn't it? <laughs> But I can actually control each one of those individually too. There's me just controlling it with this channel in either direction. And uh, the only one I don't have straight control on is the rear turret since I have it mixed with the rudders. But then the full deflection on the nose turret which I modified and kind of cut down to look a little better in shape. Again the landing lights. You'll notice that the turret turns with the tail. The nose turret I actually have turning the opposite direction. I may end up putting a reverser on that so that they turn in sequence. So when I go left, the turret goes right. But the rear turret's in sync with the correct steering. I don't think I'm going to make the swing here, so we'll just do a manual turn around here. I don't have the wing screwed on, they're just dry fitted on right now. What well, thing taxi's quick, didn't it? Quicker than I keep up with it with the radio. Now then, let me get down here on the ground and get a little closer. Again, oops. This is the top turret, and dep depending on how far I move the slider in one direction or the other is the amount of speed. That's how a continuous servo works, and I've adjusted travel, but typically I'd like it to move about that fast right there. And then I find the neutral point to where it stops right there. On the nose servo, which I posted about earlier, I can actually spin it completely 180 degrees. I could actually get about 15 more degrees in each direction, but uh, there's limits by the uh, nose. Whoops. <clears throat> Again, the wing lights I used from the Flightline P38 kit and extended them for the red and green on the wing tips. And the landing lights are actually from the free wing P-51 uh, Iron Ass airplane that I had bought spare parts for. But as you'll see here, try and put this camera down and point it at it. When I actually pick it up and retract the gear, which I'll do here, you'll see them fold and then shut off. And then the reverse when I bring it down. You also notice the uh, orange, red, and green light recognition lights come on at the same time when I did that. Let's see if, it, if it's actually showing here, but yeah, it is. So there's just a little walk around on it. I could put the rear turret on a separate channel. I'm using a lemon 10 channel receiver right now. And I'll kind of open up the bay to show everybody what's going on in here. Two Admiral 4000s right now. Now then, you'll notice I have two free wing controllers. Not that I need them, but because I've got so many outputs 
and the sequenced outputs that are on this for the lights there's only three of them and I needed four because I'm using I needed actually I needed five because the lights on the fuselage the top blue beacons and the bottom orange red and amber plus the landing lights required more outputs than one could provide so I had to use two I'm using the flight line sequencer that's built into the board right here so it's just wide off with a quad because the servos the little 2.5 G servos that I've got controlling the lights are actually wide into the connection there plus I got it uh, left an extra lead there later for the retract door mod which I probably won't end up doing just like the Bombay I'm gonna forego those two You'll notice I don't have the windows on right now. I took them back off because I've been detailing out the bay inside there. I'm waiting for pilots and new machine guns to show up. And then all the stock stuff will get replaced. My 3D parts are supposed to be here sometime this week. And then I'll take all these off. Um, I'm making provisions to mount an actual camera up on the top up here. But there it is. And... As you as you can see, let me try and get this out here to where it's off the ground. When I bring the gear up, the actual lights will go out here. The amber lights on the bottom will go out, retract lights fold, and then the top lights go off. The only lights that are left on are there, the wingtip lights and the blinking lights on the tail when I'm in flight but when I'm in dirty configuration they all come on kind of hard to hold the airplane here and manipulate this and the camera and the radio at the same time so forgive me guys just trying to show a little bit of the whole plane together I know I've posted bits and pieces of this but this is kind of in the entirety here outside of my ball turret that I'm adding to the bottom that would that will retract and it will be sequenced with the landing gear so that when the landing gear is down the ball turret is up when the landing gear is up the ball turret is down I've already got the mechanisms and the everything set up set up for that that again will require an output on the free wing version 3 light controllers that I'm running two on and the and the overall electrical amp pull on all this together believe it or not it may look like a lot but it is very very nominal I, I, I ran a voltmeter across it wrote it down earlier but I'm drawing less than an amp all together with all of this on the only thing that I kind of watch is that the red and the blue lights do get kind of warm if they're on for a, a long extended period of time But there's my flight line B-24 mail call. Now I did paint inside the, uh, let's see if it'll actually show here. I did paint inside the flaps. I'm out here in the evening, so I doubt this is going to show. No, you can't see it. But I've actually painted the zinc chromate inside the wheel wells and the flap wells. And for those that didn't read the instructions like a good friend of mine did, which I'm sure he'll see this video, the actual neutral position per the manual on the elevators here is 1.4 millimeters up from lined up. I'm not sure why they do that, but having them lined up with the actual elevator with the actual horizontal stab is not neutral. They actually want a little they actually want a little bit of up trim watching my camera movement here. They actually want a little bit of up trim. The bottom edge of the elevator should actually be lined up with the top edge of this. Is about where it falls. And that's where your maiden neutral should be set at. And that's actually stated in the instruction manual when you're setting up your airplane. But you know us guys, we don't ever read the manual. We know how to put it all together and we just start putting it all together.
and it won't turn it actually doesn't have enough turn radius to turn around in my garage here so I'm out here doing a thing now then one other thing I posted on yesterday was the strut mod I'll have the upgrade main struts here in about a week or actually this Wednesday I'm sorry this Wednesday so, so I can talk more about them but you saw earlier that I posted a nose gear strut mod you'll notice I'm actually using a smaller nose wheel and I put a spring on this and lowered it down so that it still sits at the correct AOA as it did when it stuck but I actually have a little bit of nose compression on the strut there okay I doubt if it'll ever bottom out and if those of the, that looked at the way I did it there is a small risk of the actual strut uh, hitting against the jack screw but depending on how tension your spring is that you put on that you put on it which mine is about medium stiff I doubt it will ever get that far to touch that jack screw but it's something you need to play around with but that's one way to take the existing strut mod which is actually the whole retract unit is actually lowered down a quarter of an inch so that it pushed the strut down further to accommodate a wheel to keep the nose at the same angle otherwise it would have sat with a negative AOA sure does look pretty okay guys there you go I'll post more later as I get more done like I said the retract ball turret mod will be probably the last big thing I do I don't think I'm going to end up doing bombays on this one I think I'm going to hold off for the second one which I want to buy a silver one and I'll be do, do, doing Dragon and its tail as well. And uh, that one I'll probably end up doing the Bombay mod on. Talk to you later. Have a good one. Back to the RC groups.